How to help someone with bipolar disorder. Living with bipolar disorder can be extremely trying on a person's relationships with their friends and family. Struggling with difficult emotions or manic episodes is hard, but it's even more challenging without the support of a good friend. Helping your friend with bipolar disorder requires patience and understanding, but remember to treat yourself with the same care and respect you provide your friend. If you are concerned that your friend may be a risk to themselves or others, get them help immediately. Communicating effectively. Speak openly to each other. Helping your friend with bipolar disorder will require that the two of you communicate honestly and openly. Dealing with emotional disorders can be just as trying for friendships as it is for each individual. Let your friend know when you're worried about them by telling them so. Speak to your friend in private and say something like, I've noticed that you have been acting differently lately, is there anything going on? You may also want to identify behaviors you're fine troubling like, when you don't take my calls for a few days I start to worry, is everything okay? It's okay to get on each other's nerves, but make it clear to your friend that you care about him or her. Express your feelings and concerns in a caring way. Let your friend know when you're worried about them by telling them so. Speak to your friend in private and say something like, I've noticed that you have been acting differently lately, is there anything going on? You may also want to identify behaviors you're fine troubling like, when you don't take my calls for a few days I start to worry, is everything okay? It's okay to get on each other's nerves, but make it clear to your friend that you care about him or her, express your feelings and concerns in a caring way. Respect your friend's need for time alone. Bipolar disorder can be difficult to manage, and sometimes the emotional difficulties of the condition may drive your friend to seek some time alone. Respect your friends need to be alone sometimes so they can decompress. Everyone needs some time to themselves occasionally. Your friend may be tired of trying to manage their feelings around people and simply need to relax. If you are worried that your friend may hurt themselves, don't leave them alone. Everyone needs some time to themselves occasionally. Your friend may be tired of trying to manage their feelings around people and simply need to relax. If you are worried that your friend may hurt themselves, don't leave them alone. Listen without passing judgment or trying to solve problems. Sometimes your friend may just need a sympathetic ear. Listen to what your friend has to say without judging them or the situation. Don't simply offer up solutions to every issue that arises either. Sometimes your friend may just need someone they can vent to without having to workshop possible solutions to what's bothering them. Simply listening can help validate your friend's feelings and help them feel more in control and understood. I greater than sometimes your friend may just need someone they can vent to without having to workshop possible solutions to what's bothering them. Simply listening can help validate your friend's feelings and help them feel more in control and understood. Identify when your friend needs help. If your friend's bipolar disorder is going untreated, you may want to keep an eye out for warning signs that your friend's condition may make them a danger to themselves or others. Even if your friend is undergoing treatment, you should still be aware of signs that your friend's condition is worsening. If your friend starts experiencing issues with sleep, increased activity and irritability, they may be beginning to relapse, or their condition may be worsening. If your friend begins sleeping much more or is lethargic, they may be experiencing depression instead of a manic episode, and still may need to seek help. If your friend starts experiencing issues with sleep, increased activity and irritability, they may be beginning to relapse, or their condition may be worsening. If your friend begins sleeping much more or is lethargic, they may be experiencing depression instead of a manic episode, and still may need to seek help. Avoid cliched platitudes. Having bipolar disorder is often a burden people carry for their entire lives. During that time, they are often exposed to cliched suggestions or pieces of advice. Avoid falling into that same trap. Giving common and generalized recommendations like, just look for the silver lining, or cheer up, is ineffective and may do the opposite of helping your friend feel better. Using, canned responses to your friend's real problems can make him or her feel increasingly isolated and alone because they don't have someone that understands what they're going through. Instead of using canned responses, try saying something like, I know this is hard on you, but you're doing really well, or, I've never experienced something like that, can you tell me how it makes you feel? 
giving common and generalized recommendations like, just look for the silver lining, or cheer up, is ineffective and may do the opposite of helping your friend feel better. Using canned responses to your friend's real problems can make him or her feel increasingly isolated and alone because they don't have someone that understands what they're going through. Instead of using canned responses, try saying something like, I know this is hard on you, but you're doing really well. Or, I've never experienced something like that, can you tell me how it makes you feel?